Hello everyone and welcome to the final 11 holes of the 2024 Samui Swine Classic 11 presented by Latitude 64 on the island of Samui in Shasta Chris came into today's round with the lead but Philo Brathwaite said don't go anywhere I'm going to make this quite the ball game Yarno and Evan on the card as I said the final 11 well that's barring any kind of playoff Terry Miller, the disc golf guy, joined alongside three-time world champ Nate Doss. And Nate, one final lap. Just 11 holes to play out of the 66. And a couple of veterans, a couple of guys that are master's age, are here out in front vying for the title. Yeah, you have Philo, the four-time champion. He has the lead. Shasta, who's won in the master's division here in the past, trying to get that open win. This is going to be a fun 11 holes, and I will say this. Evan has been playing fantastic. To him, For him to even push this close to Shasta after 11 holes is amazing. Yeah, nine under in the front 11, and that's with a bogey. So I think quick math tells me that's 10 birdies he collected in 11 holes as Shasta right next to the basket, even closer than Evan. And I'll say this, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the front 11, Shasta had a miss putt, a bounce out that really spent, sent him spiraling to give Philo this big lead. But now we're seeing Shasta creep back, and that's a big mistake by Philo on one of the easiest holes in the course. He's going to have a long look at Bird. Yarno just deep of the pin. We've seen nothing from Circle 2 go in so far today. Well... Philo is out in circle two, which is the worst place to be on this hole. And we've all said it and seen it. A par on hole one slash 12 feels like a bogey and then some. Yeah, it feels like double confidence for Shasta to creep a, a stroke on one, which is a hole you just assume is going to be a push. You know. Yeah, you're you're counting on birdies for sure. As Yarno is in for the par. Philo will step up for par, kinda scoops up the mini with a little frustration there, thinking, How did I miss this hole? And Evan just wants to keep the train rolling. Or do they put do they put coal in the train these days still, or do they <laughs> do they charge it? It's got to be electric trains. I don't know. But Diesel he to, generators, too. There you go. He just wants to keep it rolling. Ten under through 12 holes of play today. And, you know, look at where Yarno and Evan started. And yeah. look at where they are now. Yeah. What a round by Evan. Yeah, he's ten under, and Yarno just two under. Big thanks to our friends at Latitude 64 for their title sponsorship. Hole number 13, 269 feet. There is OB to the right, which hopefully you don't find. That's when you're in the neighbor's yard. And there's also an OB road to the left, and then a deep OB road if you really get squirrely with it. But you want to go straight up the gut and then have it finish to the right if you're throwing the forehand. The first loop through, Evan absolutely parked this hole. Trying to do the same. Keep that Train rolling, Terry. What a shot. Shasta was short right. First loop. Asking for it to sit because that OB on the right side can come into play. So still off the mark. It, it's without question. This is the hole that's given him the, much, the most trouble in the sixth loop so far. Yeah, he's just not getting that forward penetration down the fairway. Philo, he'll have a look at birdie. But Shasta, as you mentioned in previous videos, dealing with the hand issue will be a big part of troubles here on 13. If that penetrated far enough, we'll see if that has a look. Here's Shasta now. Makeable. A 
little bit of basket, but not enough to get it to drop. Sounds like someone's calling him a chicken. <laughs> I, I was wondering where you're going with that. <laughs> Philo now with an opportunity. She has just picked up two strokes on him in the last two holes. Puttings looked good today, and that was uh, definitely a misfire. Well, and as I mentioned on hole one, we haven't seen any circle two putts made because it's a lot of short putts that have to go in. And so if you haven't had those opportunities, sometimes you just don't have that range. Meanwhile, Evan's counting on this as a birdie. Pretty impressive. She has a two stroke deficit. To think round one, Shasta shot a 17. He's played 13 holes, he's six down. Yeah, definitely not the pace that he's been on. And big thanks to our friends at the PDGA. Uh, go out and sign up for the PDGA. It gets you a discount on Disc Golf Network and also just helps support the sport and the growth overall. And there's a link in the description below. The island that is hole number 14 here. Just... Barely needs to, yeah, slows down nicely. Evan, another birdie luck. On this one here, if you're flying at the basket, you're pretty much going to be OB long left. you got to come in a little short. Take the tree kick and he'll be in bounds. But if you're landing at the pin or beyond, you're pretty much going to be OB. Oh, boy. Out of bounds. And there's an opportunity to go out of bounds from the drop zone as well. Uh, Yarno. High and left. So that's not going to be any good. He's going to the drop zone. Philo it, contemplating things. It, it's kind of a question with the lead. Do you go for it or do you lay it up? Because right now it's a two-stroke swing most likely. Okay. Yep. Wow, the discipline, right? Just knowing that Shasta's got to look for birdie and you're conceding and saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to take the bogey. Yarno running at it just as he did in the first lap. And he's OB. Oh, yeah. It, it, look, that's what we see. That's why Philo laid it up because he's seen that happen too many times. And this is not a gimme by Shasta. Well, give me it anyway, because Shasta buries the putt, moves to 37 under, Philo under the basket with a bogey coming. I think we got a tie ball game again. Yes, in the last four holes, Philo is one over. Feels like never a doubt. And just like that, Shasta's at 37, Evan's at 35. Exactly. That's what I was saying at the top of the show. It's like, what a day by Evan. And, you know, you were on, you know, following these guys, doing all the filming. Where was Evan's mind throughout this? Was he, did he show any signs of? Yeah, Evan is, is you called it earlier, pretty methodical. Uh, Evan is also thinking still about some amateur titles he wants to take down and and is maybe thinking, well, it doesn't matter how well I do because I'm going to retain amateur status, which that's that's a whole other you know, set of decisions to make. But we're now on 15. Even though it's the only par four on the course, it plays as one of the easier holes. It feels like one you definitely should get. You just have to get, a, a, I was going to say a quarter, maybe even two, a, a halfway down the fairway. And you probably can manufacture then getting yourself onto the island. It's very short, 420 feet as a par four. But you got to get 
just past this initial gap, essentially. Okay, oh, well, no. yeah, not there. <laughs> Opportunity for Philo. And he'll take it. That's all you need. This is kind of where Philo started to take over on the first loop. Hung up, but still not terrible for Yarno. Now, still can get a birdie here for Shasta, but it's got to be effectively a scramble birdie. And he's going to lay it up. He's not even going to try and get across the road. He doesn't want to bring the OB into play. And landing in that bush is not the ideal landing zone. That's about the only place you don't want to be. Evan just continues to make great shots. What almost looked like too much is just enough. Yarno will stay on the island and inbounds. He'll have a look for birdie. I mean, you just have to get up and down from there. Yeah, Philo. such a perfect drive. <laughs> effectively able to throw a little chip hyzer to the pin. Get this close. Don't want stress. Shot. I, I just got to mention again, Evan started seven shots behind the leader, and uh, he's a putt away from being just one shot back of Shasta. That's pretty good in 15 holes. Yarno hasn't had the greatest day, but he's now one over, one under for the round. Excuse me. Philo, big putt. And he capitalizes. He's going to regain a one-stroke lead over Shasta. And, and creeping. Just two shots back. <laughs> just creeping. That crazy. Now, I mean, at the start of the round, we talked about, you know, there you go. Shasta, one shot back. Big shout out to our friends at the Flying Plate Company. And, uh, Fair to say they were having themselves a good time in Samui and over there in Thailand. Awesome to see. And we invite you all to join us for upcoming events. And I'm going to, of course, go on and say that Chiang Mai Club has things going on as well. So it's not just Samui, but uh, get yourself over to Thailand. Pattaya, I know, is working on some stuff, trying to get more courses. Visited the Ace Park. I mean, so much going on as Evan is going to make a mistake there and actually go out of bounds to the left side. Yeah, this is one of the most technical holes in the course. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's safe, but a lot of trees between him and the pin still. Yeah, that's way off on the right side. Not quite over by 10, but also not too far. He's closer to 10's basket than he is to a hole 5's basket. Or We'll see what he can do with it. So as I was saying, I mean, we started the day off by saying, well, it's a two-man race. You got two guys in, in the race for third. Then Evan comes up, and he's a part of the race for the lead, although he just made a, a mistake Yeah. see if Shasta can take advantage. Currently, he's 13 under with a bogey before <laughs> yeah. he completes hole 16. And Shasta, just shy of the pin in that 300-foot range, only 15 to 20 left of the pin. Philo. Has the space. And the beach does the work. I was just thinking about the, the flying plate guys. You got 17 hours of darkness or a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the paradise. Not to say that Finland's not a paradise. It is beautiful. Evan had a chance to save the par, and he doesn't. 
So that's going to be a second bogey of the round. Meanwhile, Yarno is going to move to two under on the round. That just blew my mind that we're talking about that's the second bogey of Evan, <laughs> who's having the best round uh, of everybody in the group. By a long shot. Yeah. So you're saying he's still an amateur? Yeah, he has declined cash multiple times. Like in Thailand? In in various international events, oh, wow. yeah, dating back to last year. And I know when I talked to him at one point, he's like, yeah, there's just some some big, you know, Am Nats or Am Worlds or things of that nature that he he's considering being part of. And I like that. It it's I mean, he is rated in the, like the 980s, so it's not like he's 1020 and just dominating. Um, I'm just surprised because I feel like he has all the skill sets to just go ahead and become a solid professional that he's you know been placing himself at, but. We'll see what he can do today. Maybe maybe something will change his mind if he's got enough bot uh, offered up in front of him along with a sweet trophy. So 197 feet on 17. We see a lot of forehands. Backhand can get you there, but a lot of forehands seem to be the preferred method. The backhand is just these initial trees, the ones you see around on the left of your screen. The angle is so difficult with the sidearm. You can avoid all that. Nice shot. That's good. And not mad with that effort at all. Shasta all knotted up with Philo at the moment. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that long ago. Shasta had a two-stroke lead, you know, after a couple of holes. And then, fast forward, Philo has a four-stroke lead the other way. And now they're all knotted up, and Philo out of bounds. No way. No way. Huge mistake because he's going to go to the drop zone. It's like a 70-foot putt, roughly, and Shasta's under the pin. So as you were just explaining, it went from two and Shasta, four for Philo, now potential back to two-shot lead for Shasta. Wow, what a great effort. Almost had to rename that to the Scott Stokely drop zone, as I think he went out of bounds five out of six times last year. And Yarno in for birdie. We'll see if he can get something moving here. He's three under for the round. Considerably off the pace of the rest of our lead card. Evan trying to move to 13 under on the round. For the second time. <laughs> he was there before. He, he can was. do it again. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Nice. Wow, I mean, Shasta is absolutely parked. I mean, he's not quite as close as Philo, of course, but, I mean, this is just tap-in range. Yeah, a two-stroke swing in Shasta's favor. This is an emotional roller coaster, Terry. Deep breath. It's a little look, look at into the, the mountain. Look into the skies. That's <laughs> all we need. Thirty-five percent off if you head over to the Distinguished Doodle. Use the code the Disc Golf Guy. Thirty-five percent off for some American-made products to take care of your pets. Here we are at eighteen. That's the OB. If you go long, there's also a pretty nasty spider web back there. I took a look at it. Uh, you don't want to go too far deep. You're gonna have a face full of spiders. Not to scare you or anything, but here's the forehand coming from Yarno. Are the spiders as big here as they are in Houston? Uh, I I'm gonna say a little bit bigger. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, they love to hang out around the creek area, and then also just deep and left of this pin, as we have no problem with Shasta splitting the uprights. That was close to the disaster, but guts through, Evan. Short grass is your friend there. He's so safe. He was a little worried about long left OB. 
Bilo hitting the basket in the first loop. All right, clean. Wow. You just got to love what he's doing. What I mean, a day. He's 14 under through 18 holes with two bogeys. And he is he's <laughs> the one guy that's made some lengthy putts. Currently tied with Philo. Just to think that Philo went from a four shot. I mean, this is such a tough course in that sense that it just puts pressure on you to make good shots, give yourself opportunities, and avoid those those tree kicks that put you in the out of bounds. Same putter yet again, and Shasta will tap in for birdie. As you've said, Shasta's out there with four dits. You don't have to choose that much. <laughs> And if you want to ship a disc, of course, you need to keep it protected by using my disc in a box. Reach out to me. I have those manufactured, shipping them out in 50 or 100 case quantities. Nate, you're even shipping discs all over. The I'll ship your pants. <laughs> you'll ship a disc. <laughs> I will say I've used disc in a box, and they're fantastic. You can ship one disc easily, three discs easily. Pretty amazing, Terry. Perfect. I you know who wants to ship plug. a trophy home <laughs> is one of these two guys. Justin Philo battling. Both California boys, both Masters age, and both have won titles here on Samui. So quite a battle, as you said. Evan's getting honorable mention for best final round so far. I would say that was very close to hitting one of those trees, but either way, park. Oh, and off the basket. Philo called it. He said, that's the ace run route. And Yarno just barely catching front of the cage, but then it carries all the way out to the back of the circle. And he that, doesn't convert. That's like a lot of these holes, if you're landing at the pin, you're going to be that 20 or 30 because it's so well manicured, you're going to skip. Except on a couple of holes, we got the beach. Yeah, the beach back on five. But yep. otherwise, like I said, you still have to control things. Evan has the look from less than 15. Pretty hey, unique what, style, huh? What's the course record? Uh, I, Is Shasta have it? Yeah, considering that we've seen, you know, the new layout this year mm -hmm. in in with holes really 9, 10, and 11, along with hole 4 going to a par 4 and being changed up and different, 17 under by Shasta in the opening round. Definitely the course record. So I'm just thinking right now, if Evan were to turn the two bogeys into parts, I mean, he'd be right there. Yeah. It's been so impressive as he's kind of quietly just getting it done. And right now you see him all knotted up with Philo. We move over to hole 20. Just a little tunnel shot. If you want to go dead straight, that'll still give you a 20-footer. Or you go inside this tree on the right. And you can also get to the pin. OB is deep, but not a lot to this one, especially if you have a forehand. 20 and 21 are very similar shots. You can dial this in. You just repeat on the next hole. Oh, yeah. Perfect. If I weren't so sunburned, I'd put together a compilation of all six of his drives. <laughs> he, he can't be more than 25 feet away in six attempts at this hole. Yeah, and it just lines up perfect for his throw. He gets that slight turn on it, finishing forward. Perfect for Shasta. As Philo would say, maybe a little too much attitude on that one. Yeah, he went a little too snappy. 
kind of just popped it there, overturned it. I think that is probably due to just a little bit of pressure that's being put on him by Shasta at the moment. Wow. Just three holes left to play, and this is a long bid. Things are getting tougher. That means Philo is likely going to lose a stroke. Well, and let's put it this way. Two holes to play. Shasta just has to effectively avoid out of bounds. You know, two pars would, you know, beat out two birdies. Yarno is in, and as, as we're starting to close thing out, I'm going to show you a little background of the buffalo. This is grazing. No big deal. I mean, if your course doesn't feature some kind of buffalo, I don't, I don't really know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> as Evan knows exactly what he's doing. I want to know, what's your favorite hole out here? I haven't asked that all week. So put that in the comments. That makes you eligible to win a Samui stamp disc along with a Zing Flapjack Mini. What's your favorite hole on the course? Now you've seen it almost six times through. I want to know. Put that in the comments. Your favorite hole, and tell me why. And, you know, I will say, as we see Shasta kind of championship putt in a way, as long as you can avoid major mistakes. I like hole 11, one of my favorite holes. Okay. I love that the tournament finishes there. you got to hit a gap. Still have yet to get to it here on our second loop. Now, did that guy pay a ticket? Yeah, he's got front row seats. <laughs> Just 100 baht. It's a discount because I ain't messing with those horns. Exactly. So hole number 21, 249 feet to 76 meters. Coming back down, should be a gallery off to the right-hand side. No real threat of out of bounds here. It's a matter of are you putting yourself in position for the birdie. Well, hallelujah. Mensa and crew, I know, uh, loving the action here on hole 11 slash 21. Or hole 10 slash 21, I should say. Oh, a little overplayed. Gets through, though. Might have got away with one there. He did. Could have easily hit that tree. Got through. Evans still chasing the course record at this point. Yeah, currently sitting 16 under. And maybe more importantly, all knotted up with Philo in a second place position, fighting for a share of the podium. I was going to say, I mean, wants to, he wants his spot to be one few inches higher on that podium. Second place versus third. It's been that kind of day for Yarno. It's when he's on, he's on, and I feel like he never misses. And some days when he's off, it's just not quite there as the gallery watches on and another birdie. Do they all know that Evan's on course record pace? Here's the funny thing, and here's the little life lesson. Nobody on our lead card decided to do the live scoring. Oh, wow. So a lot of people left in the dark <laughs> as our, our final group was trying to close it out. Next year, there might have to be a little more enforcement to know at where everyone stands. But there was no, every other card did live scoring. Nobody on the lead card did live scoring. So they didn't know exactly. I didn't quite, to be honest with you, I didn't either. Right. Like, you have a sense that he's playing well, but you don't have the sense that he's one birdie away from setting the course record. No, no. And uh, we have a sense that Latitude 64 made this event possible here in 2024. What an incredible partnership. Plenty of Latitude 64 discs now also in the pro shop. So make sure you visit us at Samui Disc Golf as we're closing out what should be the final hole, barring any ties. Hole 22, 246 feet. I'm going to head over to the catch cam position. And I just love this initial gap here on 11. And then you have to push it straight to get all the way to the pin. And Shasta, pretty good, a little short. This has a layup. You know, this hasn't happen. been Shasta's hole. Quite honestly, I think in five attempts, he's had four pars. 
Yeah, as you're also seeing there, that's a little wide. Some legends of the game. One Pete Cashin out there, a little Kansas City represented. Pete's first time here. Pete Johnson's first time at the event. I mean, that guy right there, Pete Cashin. It's the left of your screen right now. One of the best human beings out of Kansas City. I mean, people just keep on coming. Uh, and as you know what, I would really say, if you've got some vacation time, you want to play a little disc golf, have some fun, meet a lot of new people, come to Samoy. It's one of those places. Right. Friends from Croatia, Australia, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Estonia, Malaysia. I mean, just all over the place. Yeah. And Philo's going to be next to the pin, and that's going to put an end to his reign as Samui champion here for this year. You know, not for lack of effort. Philo had a fantastic middle of his round, but just those early tree kicks really finally catching up to him towards the end of this second loop. Couldn't be more happier for Shasta, good friend of mine. And uh, could be ha more happier for this guy right here. This is the putt for the course record. Well, he's going to have to settle for a tie. Yeah, that's going to be a tie for second with Philo. Shasta lining this up. He doesn't need it. He's got a three-stroke cushion. <laughs> and hole 11 just not giving it to him. <laughs> it was honestly at that point I said to him, D did you need to make that? And he's like, no, I think I'm good. Because <laughs> I didn't know the scores. That's amazing. Nobody doing live scoring. Yeah, that's another story. Okay. Nate, thank you for joining. We're going to close this thing out. Any parting shots? No. I cannot wait to be here in person. Another great year at Samui, Terry. Well, Yarno is in. The four-time champ is going to have to come back another year for a chance at another title. Because this man, Shasta Chris, Team DGA, in as your champion. Congratulations to Shasta. So beloved here in the community of Thailand. He is your Samui Swine Classic 11 MPO champ. Wow. Perseverance, man. Congrats, man. Thank you. His hand, the things he struggled through throughout the weekend. There's his rounds, a 17, a 13, and a 13, a 43 under. And the crowd and party is about to commence. Philo's going to come on over. And again, Shasta wins MP40 to come back and win MPO the following year. Renate Doss, I'm the disc golf guy. Luke Butch and the rest of the crew getting it done there in Samui. We invite you to join us. It's one hell of a good time. Be Thank you. in this crowd next year. Be there. Latitude 64, our presenting sponsor, Shasta Chris, your champion. Guys, the tour keeps moving. Next actions coming to you from Chiang Mai. We'll see you next year.